this is our 27th weekly vlog of our 2018 weekly vlog series. It's Friday and it's raining. I'll take you outside to show you. We're having yet another day of lots of rain. Um, yesterday, which was in last week's vlog, I got soaked getting groceries after work. And today we've had brief moments of sun, but it's mostly been pouring and thundering off and on. Um, crazy weather. Hey guys, it's Saturday. We've had a super busy morning, so it's early afternoon. We got up super early, but we've cooked a bunch of stuff, gone to Costco. Um, I've done a ton of video editing, but not much stuff that was really vlog worthy because even the stuff we cooked was sort of repeats of stuff we've made in the past. But for lunch today, we are making a Trader Joe's falafel uh, mix. So I'll show you that. We're gonna try that today. We're also grilling out some steak and I think a fish, tuna steak? Tuna steaks. Tuna steaks and then steak steak for me. And the sun's out. <laughs> Finally, it has been raining so much, so we're excited to see the sun. And then also, I am going to eat with my lunch, I don't know if Brian is, some zucchini. I, I made the zoodle version of the Boma pasta salad again this morning, so I'm going to have that with my lunch as well. There's the box for the Trader Joe's falafel mix. It's gluten-free if you're interested. And here's what it looks like. Now, we did the baked method. They also had a fried method. Um, I'm sure the fried would be better, but we figured the baked would be a little bit healthier. All right, the falafel turned out really good. I took a tiny bite. It was good. Brian liked it as well. He tried his as well. There's his tuna steak with slaw and falafel. And here is the um, Boma pasta salad only made with zucchini noodles instead of regular noodles and my steak. And we're eating out here with our awesome water feature inner lights out on the deck and it's finally or screen porch and it's finally sunny look who's back it's our little kitty who was here last week i think we're gonna adopt him soon since he keeps hanging out on our front stoop yeah i want to put some food out for him <laughs> oh he's so cute a kid ran by outside and his little head popped up he is just too cute and so someone's definitely taking care of him because he has a collar on now but that's how he always runs he always does this sort of skulky run Hey guys, it is Sunday and as you can see, the green screen is finally down. We were waiting to do that food and wine um, preview video, which we finished. Um, if I haven't already linked to it in this video, I will link to it right over there. Um, so we're excited about that and um, it's the longest video we've ever recorded and we're not really sure why because the menu was bigger last year um, than this year. I guess we were just really wordy this year, I don't know. But super excited about that, we're excited about food and wine. Um, also this is a week of wasps apparently. Um, we had a wasp show up, another unwanted guest, um, luckily this is outside the house, not inside one of our beach security cameras. Um, caught a wasp crawling across it and um, then yesterday at my request of course uh, Brian was lifting up a window because I have no idea how they got that way why they were that way but I noticed on the front of our house the windows the screens were up not down and you know you want them down so that when you open the windows the screen keeps bugs out and stuff so I asked him if he would fix those for me because where they're located, it's hard for me to reach. And while he was doing that, he got stung by a wasp. I mean, it happened so fast, um, so fast. I'm glad the wasp didn't come in the house, but poor Brian got stung and it hurts. Um, so I feel bad for him because that is painful. I've been stung by wasps before and it's painful. Luckily, he only got stung once because usually they sting more than one time. Um, but in any case, week of wasps this week. Um, also, last night he was playing a flight simulator that he has, um, and it's pretty cool. It actually um, has sort of like real-time weather, and you know, it doesn't have everything represented on the ground, but it has a lot of stuff. Like he noticed at Disney it even had some stuff for Slinky Dog, and so it's pretty up-to-date. So for the first time he'd never tried flying to Disney, he flew it to Disney, and while he was doing it, he goes, wait a minute, I think I'm about to crash into the America Pavilion. Um, so it's pretty funny, but we were both kind of impressed with, now there were some things that were totally inaccurate, like there was a big field next to Epcot that's definitely not there, but a lot of things there were pretty accurate and pretty up to date, which was kind of neat. Also, while he was looking at um, this flight simulator and Disney and maps and stuff, he noticed that there was like this tiny airfield that used to be at Disney that's not anymore. And so he was looking up information on it 
and both of us did not go to Epcot during its sort of early 80s years. Um, he went as a child, I think, to Magic Kingdom, and then I think he went as a teen. Um, I never went till I was 30, so we didn't know about this. They had an aerial and water show at Epcot, a pretty elaborate one, um, with planes and boats and everything. And so um, we'll try to put a little snippet of that in here, but if you actually got to see that in person, please leave it in the comments below what your experience was like. I mean, this looks really cool to me. <laughs> we both were sort of blown away that they had something that elaborate. It's pretty neat. As you can see, Finally, finally, I've got my dining room back. We put the green screen up. We finished with all the video recording. Um, so next time we need it, we'll have to iron it, but it's okay. At least we got a lot of videos done. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and I've got an exciting package today. I got a laptop. Um, it's to replace my old laptop. And um, believe it or not, it was Brian's idea. <laughs> um, it's funny when your husband tells you to go spend some money, but um, I think he's tired of seeing me struggle with my old one. It's not that old and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that for all the video editing I do, it was a little low on memory, a little low on power, and a little low on hard drive space. I was constantly swapping files out to an external drive. Video files are big. Um, and so say if you have an entire Disney trip and then you need to put an entire Las Vegas trip, it's kind of tight for space. So um, anyway, I got the new laptop and it came, so I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys if you're interested. Um, continue to watch if you're not, you can skip over this part, but um, I'm pretty excited about it. It's really nice. It's nicer than the one I had before. Like even if my same brand, MSI, we've had great luck with them. Brian has MSI also. But um, they make, they sort of specialize in gaming laptops. We both play video games as well, so that's why we like these. And why do we do laptops and not desktops? Because we go to the beach. We like take our computer with us and you can't take a desktop where you could, but it wouldn't be very convenient to take a desktop back and forth between the two houses. Hence the laptop. The only thing I didn't like about this one is it's a little bigger, it's a little heavier, and it has not one, but two AC adapters. Um, so that's different and that's gonna make it even heavier to move back and forth. I mean, my old one was pretty heavy. This is gonna be even heavier. Right, here is the gigantic, so here's my hand just for frame of reference. This thing's huge and it's it's thick this way as well. This is definitely the biggest laptop I've ever had. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this big. My old one like this is close to this size, but not this size. And it's so big that it came with two power cords that you kind of have to daisy chain off of that and these two huge bricks. So again, that makes carrying it in a backpack really, really heavy now. So we're gonna boot it up for the very first time. Exciting! And then you hope it comes on. And I think I saw you can actually change the color of the keyboard if you want to, and I think you can make it like kind of rainbow colors. Also wanna get it updating because I'm sure the Windows needs to do updates. It's now fully booted up, and there's the rainbow keyboard. I didn't even change it. It actually just came up that way. It's actually um, changing too, right oh, in front of Oh, wow, you're right. It's phasing <laughs> it's an, through it's the an, rainbow. It's in disco mode. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, but now we have like five million updates, and then the super fun of copying everything from my old laptop to the new one. I just can't wait. So the cool thing with this keyboard is actually, I don't know if you can hear it. It's mechanical. a mechanical click. That's pretty cool. Love it, love it. Very happy, and the screen looks amazing. I know it's hard to tell on a film of a screen, but it's really beautiful. Here are a list of all the specifications, and of course you can look it up on uh, the web as well. So this is the MSI GT75 Titan. 
and it has a dash 93 after it, which I noticed that's how they designate all the little differences between their models. Pretty cool. The keyboard shows up even better with the lights off. We're having a relaxing evening on our screen porch. We finally have some sun. It's been a while and I think later this week it's supposed to rain again, but I'll take the sunshine while we get it. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and um, I'm spending all my free time this week after work working on my new laptop. All I've done so far is done all the Windows updates, driver updates, and the made the burn disk, you know, in case it fails. So now I need to start moving all my file server. I need to start um, installing all my applications. Um, I'm trying to get as much done as I can before the weekend so that on the weekend, I won't have to spend my whole week working on the laptop because otherwise that's it would pretty much take probably most of the weekend. So I'm just trying to get as far as I can this week after work. Um, the Well, the funny thing too is since this doesn't require my attention, I could take it to work and let it sit there and do this, but the thing weighs so much with the two adapters, I just don't wanna haul it back and forth to work plus worrying about something happening to it. It's just not worth the stress. So just doing what I can in the evening. I think Brian, picks the hottest day each week or the most miserable day <laughs> to move. He's outside mowing right now and the real fill is well over 100. Um, we're back to our normal weather pattern, what I call normal for August, which is super hot and only rains at most once a day, which is in the evening or at night. Last night we had a thunderstorm during the night. That is a typical summer pattern for us. Or sometimes no rain, but this week we are seeming to get rain almost every day, at least in the evening or at night. But we're back to full sun bright days and I love it. Even though it's hot, I love the sun. I missed it. So glad the sun's back. Um, but uh, this is a, a really bad time to be mowing right now. I would not want to be out there. I mean, you can kind of, I don't know if you can tell, my cheeks are red and that's just from walking out to my car. I have to walk quite a bit to get to my car after work. And then coming home in a hot car because my car is hot it's been sitting in the parking lot all day and then running around the house doing errands and i'm kind of flushed just from that because it's that hot outside all right so i'm finally just ripped the band-aid off today and quit using my old laptop started using this new one and i also got something new so this is a laptop cooling pad you can see the fans and they're so quiet i'm really impressed because there's five fans and then it props up so there's air circulation under it as well. Right now, while I'm just using the laptop, normally it's it really doesn't matter either way, but if I was playing a game or doing video editing, it would definitely be nice to have that going. All right, that storm I mentioned is now incoming. It's been thundering periodically and you can hear the wind and see the leaves sort of blowing, the trees up there blowing. I think we're about to get a little rain. I looked at the radar and it's like bright red all around us. Hey guys, it's Thursday, yay. Friday is almost here. And I just wanna pop on really quick and ask the question of the week. Um, so I'm very curious, um, what is your favorite thing to do when you're at Walt Disney World that is on Disney property, but is not in a park. Um, this is actually a hard one for me. Um, a lot of times people will talk about taking like a pool day or whatever, we're not pool people. Um, and we're not, we actually, we're, we're definitely the, uh, what do you say, going against the grain. We actually like Disney Springs better when it was downtown Disney. It's not that we're against the new stuff, it's, it's so crowded now. Every time we've been, maybe we just hit bad times. It's been so packed and so it's just not as enjoyable. Back when it was downtown Disney, it wasn't that busy. So it was kind of nice and leisure and easy. Um, so this was kind of a tough one. I had to think about it, but I still think probably my favorite place is Jock Lindsay's Hangar Burnt. Now, granted, I haven't been there in a while. And also um, I keep hearing that at night now they don't have the lounge music anymore. Instead, they have like top 80s or something. Top, I mean, top hits, I don't know, something like that. So, and don't quote me on that, this is all hearsay. But um, I think that's probably my favorite place to go if I'm not gonna go to a park. Um, 
or you know if you go to restaurants i would say california grill but i was trying to stay away from just restaurants and talk about other things you can do and i think of jock Lindsay's more as a destination than as a restaurant sure you can eat there but i mean it's more about the atmosphere and we love the indie theming that that's why we like it it's really cool so just curious and i'll probably think of something later i'll be like oh no that's more more of our uh favorite thing but what is your favorite non-park thing to do on walt disney world property so that's the question of the week and with that i'm going to go ahead and sign off for this week because i need to keep working on this laptop i know you guys are sick of hearing about the laptop but like i said i'm trying to get most of it done so that i have all weekend to do other stuff and not work on the laptop so i'm gonna go get to that so thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure.